Good morning everyone, this is uh, Mark and it's a week later. The painting that I did at Irvine Park is dry and you can see it behind me and, and I've also got a reference photo so I can kind of um, imagine what last Saturday was like and fill in the blanks. Today I'm going to finish up the, the painting here in my garage and now I'll show you how I do that. Okay, so we got started and what I started with was the sky and just put on a little bit more of the cerulean blue. I uh, want to preserve the brush strokes in the sky so it's pretty lively still with the brush strokes and a little bit of the undercoat coming through and um, then instead of just orange um, that bottom coat to make it kind of hazy near the mountain I add a little bit of Naples yellow so and um, what orange am I using today? Cadmium yellow hue that's what my orange was. So, having fun with it so far, but that's what we got going. The sky is pretty much done. And uh, back to it without getting any paint on my phone. Okay, so okay. this year, I discovered grays. Grays are very cool. Two of my favorite grays are Payne's Gray, and there's a new one called Gray of Gray that I really like. And um, I have no problem going from violet for shadows to gray. Um, I think if you actually put them side by side it can uh, make your shadows more interesting and then for the sunny side of the hill you can see um, a little bit of the orange um, some of the Naples yellow and what else do I use? Um, ochre so it just uh, makes the, the hill pop out a little bit more and now I'm going to start on the trees and shaping the trees. Okay so that was where we were going and so far this is where we got. Um, I think I am going to just be patient, let this dry, and then put in the fence posts and the tree branches uh, next time. But you can see what I was trying for with that, what I call the center of interest down there with that little meadow. And you can barely see it up here. He was, it was way down there by the top of that post. So. But anyway, that was fun, and uh, I'll show you what it looks like after I put the fence post in next.